with this? They see Bailey. Well, where'd you go, bro? Well, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. Since last time, I killed off my brother because, well, he didn't want to do the level grinding with me to do the class change. Now, now, but seriously, I did do a little bit of level grinding because I was almost at level 18. Just finished off the level. Once you're at level 18, you can go to any mana stone, doesn't matter which one, and you can class change. For this one, I want to go with Ninja again, but I'm going to be doing something very different with Hawk this time around, and I'm going to be distributing his stats differently to be more mage-like. Well, maybe, but he, I will be using his spells a lot more than I did in the first LP, so his function will be very different from the first LP that we did together there. And I'm going to choose a different final job class change, too. There's another class change you can do, and, well, I'll explain how that works when we get there. Now, uh, one other thing, when you do your class change, it will determine uh, what new spells or abilities that you can learn. I think almost every class can learn new spells. But anyway, for Angela, I want to go with the sor Sorceress. Uh, the Sorceress gives you access to the most of the level 2 elemental spells. The Delvar job class does not, but you get a higher max intelligence stat, and you also get access to the level 2 shade elemental spell. Speaking of stats, whenever you do your class change, it'll max out your stats from your previous job class. So if you've been totally neglecting, say, agility, or luck, or some other stat, then it'll max out. So like, I totally neglected strength on Angela, so now it's maxed out from her previous job class, so she can be fairly useful. And for this one, I think I want Valkyrie. Yeah, yeah, I want Valkyrie, okay. Because now, what'll happen is, Lise will ha eventually learn her stat buffing spells, Hawk has the debuffs, and Angela will learn the more powerful magic, so that'll be pretty nice. See, I hope I chose the right job class for Lisa there. Let's just double check it out. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. We got the right job class. But you see, uh, let's take a look at Angela. She started with, I think, two strength, and so now she has eight, so it maxed out all of her stats there from the previous job class. Now, what you want to do with your new job classes, you're going to have to reset your... You have to reset your te text and your AI for your characters because, well, the reason you want to do that is because you don't want them automatically using their level 2 text because sometimes you'll run into an enemy like that ninja or the... What was the other one? the knight on the way here, that if you use the level 2 tech on them, it's like casting magic on them. They'll counterattack with a full screen tech and annihilate you. So some enemies do that. So really, as far as the AI goes, you only want them using the level 1 techs. Okay, well, I think that's everything for the job class changes, so we'll meet you back at... Where are we? Well, we'll meet you back at the village, and hopefully I'll resurrect my brother and he'll be back with us. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Well, sorry I killed you off there, but uh, I, I had to do the level grinding and, well, you didn't want to help out. So. But now, we're going to be heading on to get the next Mana Spirit. Alright. And I'm controlling Lee so I can actually control the tur turtle with my Super Nintendo controller. My brother won't Ooh. shell out for it. There's a slight availability issue with them. What do you mean? They don't make the parts for it anymore? I wonder if they still do in Japan. They probably do knockoffs, but not the actual thing. Because I know, like, it was only until, like, what was it, 2007, I think it was, when they discontinued, like, support for the NES? It's like, whoa. I didn't know they still supported that. I think well into 2000, I got, uh, I could actually send in my old Virtual Boy into it, <laughs> to them, and get it repaired. Wow. 
Okay, we've made it. Let me switch to Hawk. Can you click in there, bro? Yeah. All right, there we go. Now, normally there'd be a statue there, but I already came here off screen and bought new weapons and armor. So, well, there we go. And I've already restocked on items and everything like that, so. Mintos, the fresh maker. Hmm. Now, now, just Mintos. Uh, this is where Kevin's intro would have uh, taken him. But, we, I, well, we're not controlling Kevin, so that's the first LP we did. It's always nighttime. Why aren't they all beast men? I guess some of them. Uh, yeah, these well, these guys are humans, apparently. They're good. I'm guessing they're humans. I mean, they'd all be beast men. Maybe this is just one of those few villages where they. Yeah, you see, there's some pacifists. Ah. Uh. They're not all jerks. But yeah, apparently uh, didn't go too well for them and Wendell there. Mm. Yay! Wonder if, no, Carly didn't say anything about that. Would have been nice. Well, we got all the muscle and the guns, <laughs> or the birds. In this game. Ah, okay. Well, we gotta find a way to get over there. Okay, so we've already gotten that stuff. It's always nighttime here, no matter what. Even, it's not just, like, for show. I mean, actually, it's always nighttime there. So, uh, let me check out Angela's spells there. Oh, yeah, I learned Fireball when I leveled up to 18, but other than that. Yay. Not too much useful in the way of elemental weaknesses in this area, so. Now, one thing I did start doing was I bought a new weapon for Angela there. Because, well, now she actually has the strength to use it. Because her strength got boosted from the class change. Ow! Okay, die already. You can use your uh, level 2 text on these guys, no problem. Okay. If you so choose. I don't think there's any enemies in this area that I'm worried about with that. Wow, those guys kicked my ass. Okay, we got... Black Fang there. They will be weak to... Where is it? There it is. Holy Ball. So let's use that on them. If they do counterattack, well, it's not going to be... It's not going to kill you. Some enemies do have full speed techs that will kill you. Hmm. And I will warn you about them. Come on. Wow, how much HP do these guys have? Man, we... Ow! Okay, heal. Get into your freaking menu! I can't. Did I just talk to myself then? No. What is going on? Okay, get off the screen. Just run away! Run away! What the hell was that? Witches. It's like the screen froze or something. I guess so. I've never seen it that bad. Oh, cow. But yeah, this is what happens when you go through this area under level. I'm not going to do any level grinding in this area, because I want to make the next boss fight a little more interesting. Round two. Let's try that one again. We have the strength, it's just we don't have any healing or vitality. Ah, there we go. Okay, now, at this point in the game, although I'd really like to give agility to Hawk to learn new spells, Vitality, absolute priority at this point in the game, especially without Carly or a real healer in your party. This part of the game, the mid-game is the hardest part of the game. It will kick your ass. You will need to do level grinding at some point in time. See, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Gnome's Day. These guys don't have any elemental weakness, but I want to take advantage of the Gnome Elemental Day effect. Now, fortunately, Angela doesn't need to put anything into intelligence to learn new spells. 
At, at this point in the game. So, or any stat for that matter. Alright. Let's go for Vitality. Now, one thing I want to do for Angela is... Oh, she learned Sync Beam. Alright, that's the level 2 Wisp spell. Awesome. But yeah, um, contrary to... Oh, let's put the Sync Beam to use. Why not? Show it off. Contrary to what you might think, I'm actually going to put uh, Strength on second priority for Angela, even though she's a mage type character, because once you class change, yeah, look at that damage. Yeah, once you class change, your damage potential with spells goes way up. Like, you don't even need to put anything into intelligence or spirit to do really good damage with it. Or with her spells. So, really, I like putting strength on higher priority because we're going to have bosses that don't have elemental weaknesses and I want her to be able to actually damage them. So, and we don't need to worry about spirit because, uh, what is it? Yeah, we don't need to worry about spirit because very few enemies in the mid game, other than this area, are actually weak to it. So, hmm. let's see, we made it here. Let's just make a pit stop and... Then we'll try to get the Luna Elemental Spirit. Or will we be put on the Torture Rack instead? Find out next time on Let's Play Second and Setsu 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm Clueless. Signing off. Have a good day.